Dr. Bridget Boland is here now talking about surviving the first year in clinical practice, and I imagine it can be tremendously overwhelming. Yeah, it's a huge transition for GIs who are just completing their fellowship. Um, in fellowship, you have a lot of mentors, a lot of people watching over you all the time, and suddenly you're kind of on your own and now have to figure everything out without um, without a whole lot of guidance. So it's, it's a huge transition for people. A lot of people are pretty anxious about it for a good reason. Um, and there's just a lot of new challenges that you're encountering. And I think not a whole lot of resources to, to kind of make that transition for a lot of people. What do you think that people's perception of the biggest challenges are right now? I think, and I think this will change over time. I mean, I think the evolving healthcare models, um, you know, really it's getting harder and harder to go into private practice and be a solo practitioner, even small group practitioners. So there's kind of new evolving models and really healthcare is changing so much in terms of how we are going to be reimbursed. So trying to figure out how to fit yourself into these new models. Um, when so much is changing, then you're, you know, you're also now taking on a new role yourself. I guess the good news is there are different environments that people can go into, so there are a number of choices. It's just making that choice. <laughs> Absolutely. So, I mean, the, the challenges are very different if you're entering an academic practice or a private practice or kind of more of a, a group practice. Um, so they, I think it's, it's really changing, but there all, are also a lot of similarities, a lot of things that all young, new GIs are facing. So what is your best advice for navigating through and trying to find the place that they are going to feel most comfortable in? So I, I, I think um, you know, really trying to figure out what, a, a, you know, when you're joining a practice or an academic um, practice or university, trying to figure out you know, what kind of people are around you. I think your colleagues are going to make a huge difference. Trying to figure out you know, how that place is doing, how they treat their you know, junior faculty, or you know, junior partners um, is, is a huge part. And then finding, I think, good mentors, people to help you walk through that process, I think is a, is a huge, huge part of it all. I imagine being here at DDW, this is the perfect opportunity to find those mentors and get to talk to other people who are in the same position as you, and then people who have already gone through it that can give you some advice. Absolutely, I think they're, you know, the people who have just done the transition are you know, really, really good um, you know, resource. They've done it, they've talked to people, they've tried to make the same decision themselves, and they might have a year or two of reflection on how it went, <laughs> you know, what they would have done differently, what they, what they would do the same. And then you also have really the senior people who just know a lot about the different places, can provide kind of the, the global overview. So I think it's, it, you know, it is a perfect place to find all those different people who can really provide different advice. How important are keeping the connections that you make at a meeting like DDW and then going forth from here? I think that's, you know, that's really, I think, where, you know, what, what you need to do. Just to, um, you know, obviously there's, you can get a one -time, some one-time advice, but really, you know, you'll encounter things on the way and want to figure out how to continue to put yourself in the best position. So I think utilizing um, what you develop here is really, you know, the whole use of this conference is you know, to meet people, make those connections that will help you in the future. Yes, it's an exciting time for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you.